I have yet another unboxing for you from Equigenera. Um, this will just be a very small unboxing. It's just two plants, so it's not too excited, but I am very excited about it. I hope you all are doing really good. Uh, I am doing really good. It's just that I have a issue in my apartment right now. Um, if you're not interesting, interested in hearing about my personal life, you could just skip to this part to see the unboxing. I clean my apartment once a week. And every time I clean my apartment, I take the bed out from the wall to vacuum and clean behind the bed. And I did this yesterday as always. And when I take this bed from the wall, there's mold. There's black effing mold on the wall. So I panic. <laughs> And the first thing I do when I panic, I try to wash the panic off. So I take some uh, soap and water and I'm trying to rub this mold away, which only gives me a broken wallpaper, basically. So I call my dad and I asked him to come over to see what he think about this mold. Is it on my my fault, if you know what I mean, or is it something else? So he comes up to me and he looks at this and he says that most likely the, the air condition in this very old apartment is not good. So he thinks that it has been raining a lot, so the humidity is very high. And since my bed is against the wall, he thinks it has been some kind of moist between and the paper, the wallpaper is made of paper, so he thinks that's what happened. Um, so we decided to take the bed away from the wall, and I will see what will happen in a few days. But then he said, let's go outside. So I never think about this stuff, you know? My dad is the smart one. <laughs> so we go outside to see if we can see anything from the outside. So we see this pig, like watery circle just around where they have their balcony attached to the wall. And this circle on the outside of this wall or, and their balcony is approximately the size of the mold that I have in my bedroom. I had to call the owner of this apartment and he came over with like a moisture meter and he put the moisture meter against the wall and he basically says, oh, so there's water in this wall. And I'm like, what does that mean? So he also looked outside and he said, yes, it definitely has been water collecting in this, under this balcony for quite some time. And it has gone into the wall through the wall and into my bedroom. So today is Thursday um, and on Monday a company will come over to me to make a more like thorough investigation of this and we'll have to take it from there. So I hope they can fix the issue on the outside and on the inside maybe just like put some airflow or something and replace maybe some the wallpaper and such but in worst case scenario they have to take the whole wall down and i have to move out for quite some time so so that was going on in my life right now yay not too happy about that but you know shit happens to the unboxing so if you watch my ethereum collecting video i said that i was look that i was looking for i wanted to buy a Ethereum Cyranoi Cere Velvet. I did not purchase a Cyranoi Velvet because they did not have any um, when I wanted to buy it, but they did have, have another. So, sorry. They did have another type of Ethereum that I was also feeling connected to. So. 
I got one Ethereum and one other thing. And this makes me so damn happy. So it's getting colder here in Sweden, as you already know. So I, I'm always asking for a heat pack right now from Ecogenera. But due to how they package plants, I am a bit worried because usually they have the heat pack like in the bottom and then they pack the plants in wrapping paper or well paper. Um, well pap? Well pop? Yeah. But they're open on the sides. So to see this bubble wrap makes me so happy because maybe then we can order plants from them during the winter time. So let's see. So we got a lot of bubble wrap here. This is actually great. There's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of bubble wrap. And then we have one plant. Doesn't feel too cold actually, so I'm hopeful. And then we have a little plant. So usually they pack the plants in this type of paper, but leave it quite open here and there, and only a heat pack in the bottom. But now when they wrap it in bubble wraps as well, that's a really good improvement. So I'm thinking we should start with the small one actually. This is not the Ethereum, this is something else. Oh, this is so cute! This is a Monstera Thai constellation. The variegation of this little guy is really good. So what I've learned about the variegation on Thai constellations is that they don't lose the variegation obviously because it's a Thai. But if you have smaller variegation, like a low variegation on your Thai, it usually will stay that way. So if you have just lower variegation, it will stay lower variegated. So I really wanted to try this little guy because it has pretty high variegation as you can see. So I am very interested in seeing if this high variegation will stick to this plant. I really like this actually, it's looking great, it's really good variegation, it doesn't feel too cold. So Monstera Thai Constellation. I do not remember exactly what the price was, but I knew there was a campaign on the ties for this live sale. So I think it was 20 euros. I think, I'm not sure. The price tag is not there anymore, but yes, I think it was 20 euros. So on to the next and last plant. So this is an Ethereum. And like I said, if you watched my Ethereum, collection video, I showed you the Anthurium Quermalensi and I wanted to have one more velvety Anthurium so I did want to buy the Cyranoi Velvet and on this live sale I was hoping and hoping and hoping that they would have a Cyranoi Velvet and I asked them and they say no, sorry, not for this live so I got this one instead this guy was 30, 30 euros It doesn't feel too cold either, so I'm very hopeful. Let's... Oh my god, there's a new leaf! Oh my gosh. Wow, okay. Wow. <laughs> it's look... <sighs> this looks amazing. The leaves are quite cold, but... So oh, this is a Anthurium Metallicum and it has a new leaf that probably unfurled just recently 
it does look a bit torn and it has a hole in it and such but hopefully it will be fine there are some oh no that's just all the leaf i thought it was like a red bug or something it's not it's just on the leaf and this is how it looks The older small leaves are not doing too good, but I'm amazed. I always do an inspection just to make sure. I mean, the what do you call it? The texture? No, not the texture. The how the gosh. Hold on. So let me get the um, Quirmalensi. So this is the Quirmalensi, which has also the velvety leaves, but the leaves are very smooth, if you know what I mean, compared to the Metallica. Hold on, I will show you a bit better. Let me show you up close. So here is the Thai constellation. Sorry for the leaf blowers outside. Oh, they heard me. <laughs> so this is a little Thai constellation. I believe this was an old leaf that they took off, so that's okay. And then we have the Metallicum right here. It's the new leaf so what i meant about comparing query to the metallicum so the query has like very smooth outlines on their leaves it's still very shiny and the metallicum which are also very shiny has like more ruffled So that was it for this uh, small unboxing. Um, I will be uploading a very large unboxing soon on the channel. Um, Ecogenera had a surprise live sale with discounted plants and of course I got some even then and that will be uploaded in a couple of days. So thank you for watching and have a nice day. Bye!